All right, that's closer now. Let's try that. All right. Had a little bit of an arc going there, but it wouldn't travel. So we've got a... Uh, hmm. What have we got wrong there? Maybe I've got the angle of separation between these two is too, uh, too steep. That seems kind of lame, huh? Let's try this. Hmm. Can't sustain an arc when I bent these apart. Ooh. There you go, another discharge of that capacitor. Lame. Yeah, just can't develop enough uh, high voltage to create a, an arc that can really jump that gap. Oh well. I wonder if I have somewhere. I used to have some neon light transformers. So I got this uh, piece of wire on the end of this stick here. I'm going to touch it to here, bring it over in close proximity to there, see if I can start an arc, and then pull the wire back to see how long of an arc I can draw. That makes it a little more interesting. I'm gonna have the boys come down here and show them this. And I just kind of wanted something a little more interesting than that little piddly spark gap. Maybe at least with uh, playing around with this, we can get something going. Notice how the uh, copper melted into a ball at the end there. Uh, there are actually several. Uh, several places on the internet where people have posted their uh, attempts or plans of uh, making a, a small arc welder with a, a microwave oven transformer. I think one of the plans I saw actually calls for using two transformers, two microwave transformers in series, which, you know, essentially that would double your voltage output. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, I've got the Hero camera set up over here, kind of off to the side where I'm hoping the kids don't really notice it. We're gonna do a little bit of a psychology experiment here. Uh, I'm gonna bring the kids down um, with the intention of showing them the demonstration of the arc and uh, I'll uh, end up letting them actually draw an arc like I was doing before. And I'm curious to see, I'm going to bring them down one at a time, because I'm curious to see the different reactions. I predict, for instance, that my oldest son, who's 14 years old, is probably going to be pretty bored by the thing, maybe not that interested. I also expect him to be the most jumpy when he initially is trying to draw the arc. Uh, I anticipate that my 12-year-old uh, son, Aiden, is probably going to be maybe the least uh, fearless when it comes to, to trying this thing. and. Um, I expect my 11 year old, my youngest, to be the, uh, I don't know, the giggliest, I guess. But it'll be interesting to see. So I've got this camera set up here so I can get some arc shots and uh, hopefully this, this will capture a, a pretty good representation of uh, what the kids think. This is a transformer that I took out of a microwave oven, a broken one, okay? Mm -hmm. But the transformer was still good. 
This is called the capacitor and this is called the diode. Uh, the point is that this, this will make high voltage, okay? Thousands of volts, okay? And it can make sparks jump across that little thing there. And sometimes you gotta help them. So what I got is, you see this is a wooden stick? Yeah. Wooden stick doesn't conduct electricity. So you can hold on to this and not get shocked. But I got a piece of wire at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. And then when I turn it on, if we touch it like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Touch it to one of the two wires and then you move it in so that this end gets close to that, you'll see it'll make a spark. So here you stand. You stand here, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, and I'll I'll do it first and then you can try it, okay? Ready? So watch what I do. See I take the stick, okay, I touch touch it against the one wire, mm -hmm. and then while I keep it in contact with that wire, I move it across. Oh that's cool. That's what Nikola Tesla did. Yeah, that's right. That's what Nikola Tesla did, only with much bigger sparks. That's about as big of a spark that this will make. That's about, that's over 5,000 volts right there doing that. Oh. Yeah. So I you want to try it? Sure. All right. So you hold it back here. Don't put your hand up near there. Okay. There you go. Go ahead. Kind of missed it. Yeah, it's tricky. There you go. Why is it not working? You got it. There you go. Whoop. There you go. Nice one. That's a good one. What if, we, what if we put an ant there? <laughs> well, what would happen if we put an ant there? Yeah. He would be crispified. Actually, see that little ball of metal on the end? Yeah. That was just a piece of wire, but that ball of metal is where the metal is getting so hot it's melting. It's making a little metal, metal ball on the end. Okay? Why does it go, why does it shock twice? Like there and there. Well, because you didn't have in good contact with this one, so it's trying to jump both spots. Alright, that's pretty much it. I'm going to shut it off. Sometimes you get a little spark. See that little spark at the end there? Yeah. That's because this device right here stores a charge. So that's why it's very, those are called capacitors. They can be very dangerous. Alright? Yep. Okay, that was it. Now listen. Yeah. Don't tell Aiden, let it be a surprise. Mm -hmm. Send him down next. What would happen if you put an ant there? <laughs> Alright Aiden, let me show you this cool thing. Yeah. Come over here. This is a microwave oven transformer. Mm -hmm. This is a transformer that makes the high voltage inside of a microwave oven. It cooks the food. Yeah. It actually sends the voltage to another thing, okay? But this is a good transformer that I took out of a bad microwave oven. That's called the diode and that's called the capacitor. And when you put the three together in this kind of a circuit, it makes what's called a high voltage doubler. So it takes the high voltage out of the transformer and doubles it. So what ends up happening is these two wires right here coming over to this thing, there's over 5,000 volts there when this is on. Okay, very dangerous. But what we can do is we can make some sparks with it. Okay, doing this. Mm -hmm. And see, I got this wooden stick. Yeah. And Wood is not a good conductor of electricity. What do you call something that's not a conductor of electricity? The opposite of a conductor. Do you remember that? No. It begins with an I. You didn't have that in school yet? I thought you did. It's called an insulator. Insulators don't conduct electricity easily. Conductors do. All right? So, mm -hmm. I'll do it first. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, it's on right now. You hear um it? Mm-hmm. So watch. Watch how I do it. The trick is, you got to touch one of these, okay, mm -hmm. and then move this in 
so that you come near that one. Keep your hand back here. This is you don't want your hand anywhere near that. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Now you, that's not a good angle. You got to be. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Could you make it go on each other? No, it, it, there's not enough voltage there. To make it to make it jump by itself, yeah. you have to put them close together, and it doesn't want to. What I was trying to do is I was trying to make what they call a traveling arc, where the arc starts at the bottom and slowly goes up, and then snaps and stops at the bottom and starts again. But I need a bigger transformer for that. That would be cool to do that, though. Mm -hmm. How about, oh, does it work here? Well, it, it doesn't matter because all you're doing is you're you're closing the distance and making it smaller by bringing that wire over. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, now we're going to let uh, Peter check it out. Thanks for playing. Yeah. All right, Peter, come on down. What are we doing? I'll show you. This is a transformer from, uh, from the inside of a microwave oven. Huh. Okay. It's so a transformer for the inside of, from the inside of a microwave oven. It makes high voltage. And then it, uh, this is a high voltage capacitor and a diode. And when you add these two components, it doubles the output of this. So what ends up happening is I have about 5,000 volts when I turn this on. It's about 5,000 volts going to these two connections right here. Watch. This is a wood stick. So yeah. it's an insulator, right? Yeah. What's the opposite of an insulator? Um... Begins with a C. Conductor. Very good, conductor. All right, conductors and insulators. So I'm using this wood stick so that the electricity doesn't want to travel up this thing and go through my arm and kill me. What do you think? It's cool. See, the, uh, the wire was straight at the end. Yeah. <laughs> See what happened? It's actually melting the, the metal. It's getting so yeah. hot, it's making a ball of molten metal on the end. Which is somewhat the principle of how an arc welder works, only with a lot more energy. Only with an arc welder, we're using more current and lower voltage. How far can you go with that? Yeah, that's about it, unfortunately. If, uh, if we had a transformer that was putting out more voltage, we could draw really big arcs. What I wanted was I wanted it to start at the bottom here and just travel up on its own, but I can't do that because this transformer is not big enough. So that's what you've been working on down here? Yeah, so the past three, the past several years, I've been perfecting my. See, <laughs> glowing red hot. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> yeah. You want to try it? I don't want to touch it. Oh no, touch. The, yeah, you wouldn't want to touch that. You get burned. I almost did it. No, you're. Simulating it, but you're not really doing it. All you're doing is you're making two arcs. See? If you want to draw a longer arc, start from here, slide mm -hmm. it in until it just starts to hit, and then draw it out until it just stops. About a quarter of an inch is about as good as it's going to get. That's about as big as you can get them on. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Does Mark know about this? Oh, I had Mark do it first. You know what Mark's first words were? What? 
That's what Nikola Tesla did. <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna shut it off, okay? Yeah. Here, watch. Don't touch this. Watch when I shut it off. It's off, right? Watch this. Watch real closely. Watch the end. No, come here. It's not gonna blow up. Watch. Did you see that little tiny spark? Yeah. It, that's because it was off for a while. Watch it. Leave it on for a second. Shut it off. Watch. See the, see the spark? Yeah. That's still several thousand volts. That's because this device here, which is called the capacitor, is charging up and it's storing the charge. So that's why these can be very dangerous. That's why you never want to open up a microwave oven. Even if it's unplugged, you can still get a shock because if this is storing a charge, it can shock you. All right? Yeah. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you. Money? I don't think mommy cares. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, right. I got, I got to do the wash. I can hear that from upstairs. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but it's actually making the lights in the shop flicker because it's drawing a lot of energy. My um, lights are flickering. Well, Did uh, you use it yesterday? No, I didn't. That was just probably all the wind. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. She's not going to come down. All right. I think I'm going to have to find myself one of my neon light transformers. and Maybe we'll keep this little wood block set up here and try and uh, get a real Jacob's Ladder going. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to waste your time watching this kind of stuff.